thank you very much, Deborah, for your invitation. Um, well, it's my first reading here. I have just finished to translate these things, so, so I hope everything so is okay. Um, and it's a wonderful place. So I, I'm very happy to be here tonight, sharing my work. I'm going to read some points of uh, my second book, Haiku Minero, minor haiku, and some other things that uh, will be included in the, in the in over now. The one will be out in Santiago in, in April, and the rest are, are in edits. So, okay. Y en la soledad aglutinante de estas cuatro paredes, coroné mis sueños, cual partículas nocivas coroné mi propio despertar, de entre los más tocados en el fondo del corazón, el pozo de los desperdicios. He aquí la verdadera caverna del hombre, he aquí el naufragio, el sol asoma tras las rocas, mis manos y mi frente sangran. Ante and in the original loneliness of these four worlds, I crowned my dreams. Like harmful particles, I crowned my own awakening. Between the most touch in the bottom of the heart, the cesspit. Here it is, the man's true cavern. Here it is, the chipwreck. The sun leans out behind the rocks. My hands and my forehead bleed. The day life began, I was already lying, licking my own wounds. Inside, deep down the mirrors, the martyr girls make up deep dark rings under their eyes, like pits of inexistent fables, and they tell to each other that time for kisses is late. The dead bride, those perturbing and sinister rags, with their disconcerting words, invite me to write sad prayers for my ashes rest. I hold them and kiss them in the swamps. I remove their mud, read their dresses gently, wring the passion of their red nipples. I no longer believe in death after death. A beautiful and burning young girl, locked in a monastery, writes letter of a ruined love to the man for whom she is not destined to. Nuns have always been such gargoyles when dreams are about and punishment used to be terrible in dungeons. Tears are easy to catch by paper. I don't want my bones away from my body. The stories I read in moonless nights talk me of glows in dead lips and the words that scorched my chest before rot now as ghost worms between memory's ashes. I don't believe in lies anymore. Time ago, when you talked to me, your eyes completely dodged mine, and your cold hands hit from the irreducible ardor of my hands. Today, I remember you got inside of me, and always, until it's a bit sunny, I go out to ventilate my scars. <laughs> 